At the height of the pandemic, way back when, they were vital to saving lives. We are talking about masks, and now criminals are using them like never before to conceal their identities. Yeah, today some civil rights and Jewish leaders doubling down on their call to implement a mask ban in New York City. They say the ban could prevent instances like this, a man yelling anti-Israel remarks on a subway while wearing a mask. New York cops caught the suspect days later, but critics say more needs to be done to unmask hate. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu. My main concern is that I go there, I take a seat on the train, like I do every day, and somebody sees me with my keeper on who decides that I am someone they can target. Noam Gilboard had just started sharing his concerns as a Jewish man living in New York City when someone walking by shouted, Free Palestine. Look what just happened. Someone just yelled, free Palestine. Have I said anything about that? I'm talking about my Jewish identity. Gilboard with the Jewish Community Relations Council of New York, along with civil rights and faith leaders and local lawmakers had gathered to push to bring back a mask ban in the city to prevent people from using them to hide their identities while committing anti-Semitic attacks. This is about ensuring the majority of New Yorkers are not terrorized by KKK tactics. That's what these are. These are KKK tactics. Assemblymember Jeff Dinowitz says he introduced legislation two months ago and hopes it will be passed before the start of the next legislative session, though he agrees there needs to be further discussions about who and what is exempt and how it will all be enforced. It's not meant to prevent people from wearing COVID masks. It's not meant to infringe on anybody's First Amendment rights, but essentially it will restore the law that we had for so many years, which was upheld by the courts. Governor Kathy Hochul expressed her support for reinstating the ban following this incident on a train earlier this month. Raise your hands if you're a Zionist! Raise your hands if you're a Zionist! Governor Hochul has said that this legislation would need to include exemptions for people who use face coverings for religious or medical reasons. Now, Mayor Eric Adams has also said that he is open to some form of a mask ban as well. 